Morning traders, welcome to the uh, week ahead preview in the, uh, on Monday, uh, Asia morning. Take a look here at the euro dollar chart and you can see how we gapped open on these uh, German coalition news. We closed down at 122.10.15 in uh, New York on Friday and we gapped open and we, we opened up around uh, 122.60. So kind of hanging around, you know, unchanged from the gap open. I suspect this gap gets filled at some point. Um, we also had the government shutdown, which was uh, late Friday, which, you know, if you take a look at dollar yen, um, we, we also gapped lower in the dollar, you know, in the combination of, or in dollar yen's case, the government shutdown. Uh, we closed at 110.80. And we opened up here down at 110.55. So, you know, not a not a whole lot going on since the uh, since the gap opens. Um, let's pop over to uh, let's pop over some of the Asian currencies. Aussie similar type thing. Close down here. Open up. About 10, 15 points. Aussie looks like it might be ready to go and kind of retrace some of this move down from 80, 40. And we got down to 79, 79, 80. Um, you know, so the government shut down people. I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. You know, this could drag on for a while. Uh, it's certainly nothing, not good news. We do have the Bank of Japan coming up on uh, tomorrow, so we'll be paying close attention to that. Uh, some German data coming out on Tuesday. Uh, you know, the, 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 the big stuff is really Thursday with the ECB meeting. Things could be pretty interesting there, especially with the positioning in Euro extremely long position in euro um, so we're expecting some some volatility this week for sure let's pop over to the cryptocurrencies uh, you can see here got bitcoin down about 11 percent since uh, yesterday ethereum down 10 10 11 percent ripple down 14 percent those are kind of the main ones that we that we look at um, they did have nice bounces after the, uh, you know, we did have some, some big moves. Let's take a look at this Bitcoin chart. But last week we had this big move from thir about 13,500. Got all the way down to 9,000. That had a nice big bounce that day. And now it looks like they're kind of reversing. We're sitting here just above the 100-day moving average. I do think that the target for this, sell-off comes into somewhere around this 200-day moving average um, sometime this week. Ethereum much stronger relative miles away from the 100-day. Uh, that made a low of 755. This is on Coinbase, so it depends on your what you're looking at. And here's Ripple. Ripple had a big sell-off. You can see where it stopped last week to the tick, right to this uh, 7.786 Fibonacci level, which you know, I think the Fibonacci's are, are working actually pretty well for the cryptos because it's a new uh, immature market that, that tends to trade pretty well against moving averages and Fibonacci's and, uh, you know, it trades well with the momentum as a breakout type trade. So, you know, expecting kind of a quiet, uh, quiet Asia session. But we will uh, we'll check back with you guys on the European Open and and uh, see if we fill some of these uh, these gaps that uh, these gaps that uh, happen here on the um, on the Asian Open. All right, good luck trading, and uh, look for us at the European Open. All the best.